gonna give you five hacks that will help you cut and dry your wood slices. It'll save you money and with a little bit of luck, yours will not check and split. <laughs> Number one. Cut them in the winter. <laughs> with a bit more energy and a bit more. Cut so. them in the winter. <laughs> cut them in the winter. Just say it. Cut the trees in the winter so the sap's not under the bark, so it's the bark's tight to the tree. Thank you. And after the spring comes, the sap goes back under the bark and makes it loose so it'll fall off. Number two. If you want to dry them, you got to sticker them. You got to put them in a cool place or they're going to crack. And even then, they'll probably, some of them will still crack. And then after maybe a month or two, you can put them in a little bit, a little bit of heat. But after that, you got to watch. And you don't put them in a kiln because they'll come out, they'll come out of a kiln crack too. You have to go, you have to let them dry slowly. Mm -hmm. the wind, nice. wind will dry them. And we'll, the warm spring winds will dry them quick and the sun will dry them and then they'll go too fast. And you'll get so it, they have to go slow. You have to go, you have to let them dry slowly. Put it yeah. in a closet or a basement or a, or a garage or something or a tool shed somewhere out of the wind, out of the sun. And so you don't want them in a heated place. You want you them sure in a cold. Don't. You sure as hell don't. You want them in a cool place. And then after maybe a month or two, you can put them in a little bit, a little bit of heat. But after that, do you lean it against the wall and let the earth air as circulate? Long as, not, as long as they're not touching. If they're touching, they'll get mold on it in the warm weather. You won't get it in the winter, but you'll get it in, as soon as the weather turns warm. If you put them together, they'll get mold in about a week. I see people at the market after, and I ask them, they didn't, no, it didn't crack. And other people say, yeah, it's got a little crack, but they don't care. So yeah. what it, what happens if they do crack? They crack. You have to fix them up with epoxy or you live with the crack. Yeah. Okay. And make sure you're looking at the camera, I'm looking, right? I'm looking at the camera. You're looking over here right. or down. You look shifty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look shifty. Yeah. <laughs> Why do ovals crack? Because it dries too quickly and you have two planes of wood here that are fighting against each other. Along the growth ring dries twice as fast as against the growth ring. This is an example of what happens. This is checked because we brought it into the warm heat in our workshop. So here, let's say this is your growth ring and I'm just gonna snip it Where this, where this dried twice as fast will now crack. Hack number three. And then what about cutting them on an oval? You've had good luck cutting them on, a, with an, on an oval. You cut them on an oval if that's what they want, but there's less chance of them cracking on an oval because there's more green splatter, I guess. I don't know why, but they don't crack near as bad as an oval, but they still will crack if you try and brush them. Hack number four. What do you use the hydraulic jack for to tight to tight hold it tight angle. i screw it in there with a three inch screw okay. cut the blank with the chainsaw the angle on both sides you lay it on a board you put a three inch screw into the two by six to hold it tight if you use a shorter screw it'll probably come loose and then you can only go down on your sawmill to three and a half inches or you're going to hit that screw and it'll butter your blade i did a one for a dumb that came here with some and he he put a he put a three and a half inch screw and it didn't tell me. So I hit it, I went down to the last to three and a half and it hit it. Ouch. And, so, and what happened to the blade exactly? Well, it bars it up, it never cuts true after that. Well, some you can resharpen it sometime, but you gotta knock the set out of it too, and it's right. just not, I don't, like, I don't like the zing sound. No. I'm deaf and I can still hear it. I <laughs> like that zing. I don't, you like, I don't like the zing sound. No. I'm deaf and I can still hear it. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs>be some swearing going on just go slow with the mill and feather it nobody knows what feathered means feather the <laughs> throttle just feather the feather. You, have to, you have to go slow and you have to make sure the motor's not overworked and you gotta know what's cutting or you'll you can tell if it's not cutting the blade will start to pull or the motor will slow down or anything like that yeah you have to get a feel for it <clears throat> feather the speed i don't know just let don't let it go too fast or it'll wave and pull the blade and Stall motor or whatever. Hack number five.
So so do you, you cut them straight across sometimes? Mm -hmm. I don't like doing that, but people want them for uh -huh. that because they want a plate to sit on it. Right. But yeah. I, the only ones I'll do them is popper because everything else will crack and guaranteed it'll be cracked in a week wow. in the summer. Every, every one, every species. I mean, old boys told me that popper doesn't crack. I've been telling them that for years, so I listened to them and they're right. So wait, so why is it that poplar doesn't? Is it I don't know. I, I Google it and I can't find why. I just I. Or what kind of poplar? I don't know. There's about twenty five different species of poplar. I use bomb, <laughs> magnesium poplar, bomb. double poplar. There's green poplar, but I don't know what this actual yeah. species are. But I don't know. It's heavy and it's full of water and it's hmm. something to do with the green. So, I guess. I don't. Size matters. The smaller, like four by four to four by twelves, you have a better luck at drying those without them cracking than a larger slice. I hope you try these hacks and they save you some money. Before you go out and buy some expensive end sealer or pentacryl, give these hacks a try. If you have any hacks or you're going to try any of these, leave a comment down below and let me know. Are these hacks foolproof? Uh, no. You need a little bit of luck, a little bit of strategy, and hopefully it just might increase the odds of your wood cookies not cracking. Good luck. Love you. Bye. Are you looking at, yeah. That's poison, you know. Did you see me? Yeah. Yeah. It's... Can you say that? I just said that. You, you said well, you it. Just, you just say it. it. Say it with a bit more you energy. Kind of when the, when the sap's back down the ground, the winter. No, so... no, wait. Oh, yeah. You're being like. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Pretend you're saying it to Brooke. Brooke's a forester, she'd know that. She doesn't know it. Okay. So look right at the camera and say it. Cut them in the winter. <laughs> With a bit more energy and a bit more. Cut so, them in the winter. <laughs> See? Well, I didn't know Talk that. to Adrian. What, do you really care though? <laughs> no. <laughs> he, he doesn't know that. You don't care. <laughs> that, this is the attitude I want. Yeah. This, I love this. Yeah, I know you love it. Okay.